la 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 I'm making our turtle that's going to be one of the floor cushions um, it's going, it's kind of, they'll be a, dotted around the exhibition so that children and their parents can um, sit around, um, especially it's going to be a reflection area. We'll be drawing on fabric for cushion. Wow! If you look at this one, it tells the entire story of Grigsby. Should we just have a quick reminder, who have we got in the story? The golden shark. The movie. We talk a lot to them about the exhibition and I think quite understandably if you're four or five you're thinking what is an exhibition? They are creating the work for it. That's Trisky and they're the mermaids. This is a ship and that's a ship with seaweed on it. The Titanic. It's that holistic learning, so they've learned about the journey of the fin whale, they've studied the fin whale's diet in science, and they've just made all those connections through this project. Antarctica. And then right here is the part of it jumping off in the moon. Here's drugs being, that's all the rubbish. I used a crayon, I did it like that way, and then I screwed like that to get it all of the man part, and then I blended these two colours to make it like, it's just like fire. Making notes, because um, we're going to make 3D versions of what the kids draw. Loads of material to work with. We made all of these. We have to like make it for a cushion. Very good. <laughs> Our crab. We've got to make loads of kelp for putting in the box where the children come and put their hands in looking for the moon clocks. We've also got to make the moon clock. In fact, we've got to make a few of them. When it hits the dark sheep, it means that it's tea time. I'm making a wonderful narwhal that saves Strixby from the plastic monster. I'm making the great seal. It was one of my favourite characters in the book. Uh, so I thought, I've got, if I've got the chance to make him, I am. When you bring the child's drawings to life, um, you get a sense of their imagination, their creativity, because so often as adults, we're too literal in how we think. So it's great to see through their eyes. Ali's actually taken the designs from the children's paintings and then transferring them onto fabric. When it comes to the exhibition, the children can actually place the fish and the sea creatures where they want. I would really like you to think carefully about the mermaid's house. Nice, big, clear drawings on the fabric and they're all going to be put on <coughs> one great big length of fabric. So it's going to be like a lovely patchwork with all your beautiful ideas. So they need to be big, because remember, People are looking at it in the exhibition, so if they have a tiny little drawing, they won't be able to see it clearly enough. I've done the rainbow, and I've done the mermaid house, and now I'm going to do the water here and then come in. There's a merman, there's scales, and this is the, like, the little tail. We're making um, shadow puppets for um, the dark tunnel and it's going to look like crazy and scary for the dark tunnel and you can do some patterns on it and make it look as scary and crazy as you can. The drawings are amazing and the fact that they've remembered so much of the story and input that into their designs is really creative, so wonderful. Children of all sizes and see adults of all sizes will be sharing in their ideas. <laughs>